We now have over 1,500 different skins in Fortnite, but today, guys, I'm going to show you 27 skins Fortnite pros made. These are going to be some of the best players in the world and using skins that some of you guys have never seen before. So make sure you guys watch all the way through to see if your favorite skin features in this video and let me know who your favorite pro is as well. And we are starting off with Booga and, of course, Booga's main skin, which is Lara Croft. Now, even though he does have his very own Icon Series skin in the game, I feel like Booga does change around his skins quite a bit and often ends up using a bunch of different skins that we do have in Fortnite. There seems to be a bunch of pros and streamers that all use very similar skins, so I feel like Lara Croft is going to feature a few times in this video, but it is definitely one of the more try-hard skins in the game right now, and it has been like that for the last few years as well. We really only see people using the default style of this skin, though. There are actually three different edit styles that all look really, really good, but I still feel like the default style is known to be the most try-hard. If you guys do like the way this skin looks, though, and you want to stand out though definitely try out the green or the golden edit styles i'm sure you guys will absolutely love it but let's move on to our next pros and these are the x2 twins now they have made a bunch of skins over the years but more recently they have actually named caper caper is one of the newest skins in fortnite it is one of the most highly customizable skins in the game as well and definitely one of my favorites you can pick this up for only 1200 v bucks which is extremely cheap i think a lot of customizable skins usually cost somewhere around 2000 v bucks so the fact that you can get these skins for such a cheap price just shows you how good these actually are. So far though, the X2 twins have been using these skins over the last few weeks. They have definitely been using some of the cleanest edit styles for these as well, usually the fully white or the fully black edit styles, and even changing around the hooded color on these as well to make them stand out even more. I feel like this is going to be a common trend as we move throughout season four and hopefully into chapter five as well. But our next pro is using a skin that I haven't seen anyone using in such a long time and this is Sword Dylan. Now, Sword Dylan has been using a bunch of different skins over the last few years, but more recently, he's actually been using the Party MVP skin. I actually really like this skin. I think it is one of the more unique skins that we do see people using, and it is also quite rare as well. These skins seem to feature in the item shop about once every two months, so if you guys don't already have it, you will have to wait a while in order to get it. There are a few different skins that look very similar to this as well. I'm really surprised why they didn't just make it one skin with a bunch of different edit styles, but it was made sort of similar to the Mogul Masters, where there are a bunch of different edit styles that all look really similar. Not many other pros or streamers are using the Party MVP skin though, so this is going to make you guys stand out a lot, and if you are a fan of Sword Dylan, I'm sure you've already been using this skin. I wouldn't be surprised if he does change around his main skin over the next few weeks though, there are definitely going to be some amazing skins added this season, so I feel like Sword Dylan could definitely change around the skin that he does main in Season 4. Let's move on to arguably one of the most popular Fortnite pros in the world, and this is Clicks. Right now, he has been meaning one skin that is very unique, and this is Nolan Chance. We also might talk about some other skins Clicks means very, very soon, but Nolan Chance has been one skin that we have seen him using a bunch since the start of the brand new season. He used this in his very first games of Season 4. I think that shows you guys how good this skin actually is. And a lot of people are even calling this the Clicks Icon Series skin as well, which just makes it even funnier. I actually really like this skin though. It does remind me a lot of Midas. And I feel like that is why this skin could definitely become a lot more popular in the future. But obviously, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens as we progress through Season 4 and maybe even into Chapter 5. I have been loving this skin though. You can definitely make some really good combos with this. And since it does remind a lot of people of the Midas skin as well, you just know that this is going to be a tryhard skin in the future. Let's move on though to our next pro that is also using an Icon Series skin, and this is Cypher PK. Since Cypher is using an Icon Series skin, you guys can tell that he is using his own skin. He does tend to use a lot of different skins in Fortnite as well. Since the Battle Pass was introduced only a few weeks ago, I feel like he has been using all of these skins from the Battle Pass. We saw him using Nolan Chance, Antonia, and of course, the fish stick all on day one, and I think these are easily some of the best Battle Pass skins we've seen in a long time. Regardless though, he always seems to end up using his very own Icon Series skin all the time. It is definitely one of the cleanest Icon Series skins that we do have in the game as well, so I feel like this is a skin that he's going to be using for a long time to come. What I really liked about this Icon Series skin though is that there are so many different styles for this, and it doesn't feel like it is just one skin with one different edit style. All the edit styles feel really different and unique 
unique, and I think that is my favorite part about this. But let's move on, guys, to another creator that has their own icon series skin, and this is Ninja. Now, surprisingly, even though Ninja does have his very own icon series skin, he doesn't really use this as his main skin anymore. More recently, though, I feel like he has been using Mei. This is one of the latest Battle Pass skins, and you can pick this up for 950 V-Bucks. Mei is the anime skin from this season's Battle Pass, although you can actually change the gradient on this skin to make it look like a normal Fortnite skin. I think that is really what is going to help make this skin a lot more popular and try hard in the future. Not too many people really enjoy using anime skins for that long in Fortnite, but I feel like when you do have a skin that looks this good and you can actually change the gradients on this, it just makes it even better. I'm a huge fan of this. I feel like they should have done this with all of the older anime skins that we do have in the game, and maybe that is something that they go back and update in the future as well. I think it would be really cool to see some other anime skins in the game have this same effect, but we're just going to have to wait and see. With all the edit styles for these skins coming out over the last few days as well, I feel like that is only going to make this skin more and more popular, but let me know if you guys like this in the comments down below. Let's move on though to our next pro, and this is Typical Gamer. Now, Typical Gamer does mean a bunch of different skins in Fortnite, but I feel like we have to go with the Renegade Raider and maybe the Psycho Bandit as well. More often than not though, you will see Typical Gamer using the Renegade Raider in his live streams on YouTube nearly every single day. He also does use a bunch of other rare and new skins that get added, and he has one of the best Fortnite lockers in the entire world. He has already said there are really only like five or six different skins that he doesn't have in his locker, which is just so insane to think about considering we have like 1,500 different skins in the game. And most people would absolutely love to have a locker like this, but obviously if you have a locker full of rare and exclusive skins, you are always going to use those skins as much as you can, and the Renegade Raider is the perfect example of this. I feel like the Psycho Bandit is also a pretty good example. It is one of the rarest and more tryhard skins in the game right now, and that isn't really going to change over the next few seasons. A lot of people also think this skin is never going to return to the game again, but I always feel like there is a little possibility that we might see Borderlands collabing with Fortnite again, so we're just going to have to wait and see. One skin that will definitely feature in the store very soon, though, is made by our next Pro, and this is Maddie. Maddie streams a bunch on Twitch, and you will always see her using the Adeline skin. This is actually one of the more underrated skins on the list. I feel like a lot of these skins have been quite tryhard in the past, but Adeline is one of those skins that sort of flew under the radar. We obviously got the Arctic Adeline skin for free at the start of the year, and a bunch of people were using that, but I feel like no one really realized that there was an Adeline skin that Arctic Adeline was based off. I really like this though. I think Adeline is such an underrated skin, and Maddie even got her very own locker bundle, which included the Adeline skin. So this is perfect for you guys to start using. If you are a fan of Maddie, then I'm sure you already own this skin. So let's move on to our next pro, and this is Phase Replays. Phase Replays again uses a really underrated skin similar to Maddie, and this is the Comfy Chomps. We have seen a few pros and streamers using the Cozy Chomps over the last few years, but no one has really used the Comfy Chomps before, and that is what separates replays from a lot of other pros that we're going to talk about. I really like Comfy Chomps. We don't really see too many pros using male skins in the game just because the female skins tend to be more popular and tryhard. But I feel like a lot of people are using the Comfy Chomp skin in season four and that is all because of replays. We also got a second edit style for this skin, which is really cool. I think the original style was always a good style, but with an added style, it's just gonna make it even better. This has been one of my favorite sets in Fortnite. Personally, I think Cozy Chomps is a little bit better. I have been using this skin a bunch since it got a brand new edit style, but it's always really good to see people using some of the other skins in the game as well. Let's move on to another Fortnite pro that uses mostly male skins, and this is McCreamy. Now, I'm sure you guys all know what skin McCreamy is known for, and this is the Skull Trooper, and more specifically, the Purple Skull Trooper. Yes, guys, McCreamy has been one of the only Fortnite pros in the world to still use the Purple Skull Trooper today. He doesn't really use it in every single video, and he did get his own locker bundle, but he obviously couldn't include the Purple Skull Trooper because it is one of the most exclusive skins in the game. This is definitely the skin that he is known for though. It is also the skin that he has been meaning basically since the game started, which is just so crazy to think about. Personally, I wish I had bought this skin back during Chapter 1, Season 1. Instead, I thought this game would never become popular and decided not to buy it, and now here we are. And now, looking back, I should have bought it because I missed out on literally one of the rarest skins 
skins in the history of Fortnite. A lot of people that still use this skin today though are going to be absolute sweats and pros, but it's always good to see McCreamy using this skin as well and being one of the biggest meme players that we still see playing Fortnite today. We may as well talk about another OC content creator guys, and this is Oatly. We've never featured Oatly on the channel before, but he's actually been using two different skins since season four started, and this includes Kepa and of course the Astra skin as well. We've already talked about Kepa. It has been one of the most popular and tryhard skins since this season started. I'm a huge fan of this, but Oatly uses a really cool custom style that not too many other creators are using, and that seems to be a little bit of a theme that we would definitely talk about later on. I love this though. I think Kepa is such an amazing skin, and you guys can customize these in a bunch of different ways. Not only with the actual colors of the jumpsuit, but also with the hoods that you can actually get on this as well. That is a customizable style I never expected to come to the game with this skin, and also with all of the emojis that you can customize this with, that just makes it even better. It is also worth including the Astra skin, because this is a skin that he's been maining since before Kepa was introduced to Fortnite, and he still uses it in Season 4. This is a really clean skin. I don't remember the last time I saw any pros or streamers using Astra. It is one of my favorite skins in the game right now, though. It is going to make you guys stand out a lot, and it has some really cool edit styles. But again, I feel like if I had to pick between Caper and Astra, I would probably pick Caper. Let's move on though guys to our next pro and this is Somerset. Now Somerset does change around her skins quite a bit but lately she has been mating the Piper Pace skin. You can actually get Piper Pace in this season's battle pass and it is going to search back 950 V-Bucks. What I think is really cool about Piper Pace though is that there are a bunch of different edit styles for this so even if you guys don't like one style there's still a bunch of other styles that you can use and this definitely looks like a skin that will stay try hard for the next few seasons. We usually see Somerset using some of the newest Battle Pass skins in the game. During Chapter 4 Season 3, she was using Mariposa a lot, to the point where this probably would have been her main skin that season, so I feel like it does make sense that she is also using a Battle Pass skin in Season 4, and the Battle Pass skin that she has chosen is Piper Pace. Let's move on though to one of the best Fortnite players in the world though, and this is Malabuka. Malabuka is easily one of the best European players we have ever seen in Fortnite, and he has been known for using the Par Patroller skin. He has also been using a bunch of different superhero skins over the last few seasons, but I feel like the Paw Patroller skin is definitely the skin that he is known for. This features in all of the thumbnails on his channel. It also features in a bunch of videos that he does upload as well, which easily makes this his main skin. Personally, I'm a huge fan of this. We don't really see too many other pros or streamers using it. It is definitely a tryhard skin in Fortnite as well, which just makes it even better. So if you guys do want to stand out and copy your favorite creator's skin, then Malibuka is definitely a good one, and the Paw Patroller is a great choice. One Fortnite pro that doesn't really compete in too many tournaments anymore, though, is Loser Fruit, but her Icon series skin is the skin that she is known for, and that is because it's her Icon skin. I think that makes sense. I'm sure a lot of you guys already knew this, but we do see Loser Fruit mostly using her Icon series skin. Personally, I'm a massive fan of this. I think it is one of the coolest Icon series skins that we do have in the game. Even though we don't really have too many edit styles for this skin, it is quite reactive and colorful, which is always really cool. It is going to make you guys stand out a lot, and he's one of my favorite Icon Series skins that we do have in the game. Obviously, it's cool to see some more Australian YouTubers in Fortnite. I just think this is such a huge inspiration, but even though she doesn't really play in too many tournaments anymore, I still feel like it's definitely worth including Loser Fruit in this video. One Fortnite pro that still competes in a bunch of tournaments, though, is Zemi, and he has been known for the custom superhero skins, but but more specifically, a custom green superhero skin. Yes, guys, Zemi is one of the only creators in the world that uses these superhero skins, but uses a custom style with these. Usually, we see a bunch of pros and streamers using the fully white or the fully gray edit style. We don't really see too many pros or streamers using some of the more colorful edit styles for these skins, but Zemi does a great job of this because the fully green superhero skin is easily one of my favorites. I love the way this looks. I think it is one of the best custom superhero skins that you can use in the game, even though they have started to drop off over 
the last few weeks, I still think they are definitely worth using. So if you guys have been using these superhero skins and are looking for an edit style that is going to make you guys stand out a bunch, then the green superhero skin is going to be a perfect choice. The next Fortnite Pro that we need to talk about though is Epic Whale, and he has been using the Lara Croft skin during Season 4. Epic Whale is definitely one of the best American Fortnite players in the world. He has been dominating tournaments for so many years and has made the FNCS nearly every single season, which is just an insane record and shows how consistently good he actually is. He does change his skin around quite a bit. He used to use the Kuno skin and the fully white superhero skin back during Chapter 2 and Chapter 3, but now in Chapter 4, I feel like Lara Croft has definitely been the skin that he has made a lot and is probably the skin that he's most known for. I love the way this skin looks though. We have just seen so many pros and streamers using it though. I feel like if you guys do want to change this around, then definitely use one of the other edit styles for this. But we've already talked about Lara Croft, so we may as well just move on to our next creator. And this is Courage JD. Now, I actually had a lot of trouble trying to find what Courage's main skin is. And that is because he doesn't really have a main skin. Courage has actually been offered locker bundles in Fortnite, not once, but twice and declined both times because he doesn't know what skin he would actually include in a locker bundle. I think that shows you guys how many different skins Courage actually uses. Whenever you go and watch his live streams, he usually uses one skin for that entire stream. But when you go to watch his stream the next day, he is going to be using a different skin. I actually really like this playstyle. We see so many people having some of the best lockers in the world, but really only using one or two different skins from their locker. So Courage is definitely changing the narrative with this and encouraging people to use some of their more creative and customizable skins in the game, which is always really good to see. I'm a huge fan of this, and I just know that Courage is going to use every single skin that he has in his locker, which just makes it even better. He might not be considered a pro Fortnite player anymore and compete in FNCS tournaments, but our next pro definitely does, and this is Reet. Reet is most known for using the Focus skin, and it has been this way basically since Chapter 2. We've seen so many people using Focus over the years, and Reet is probably one of the main reasons why. There were always montages and clips uploaded to YouTube and Twitter of Reet going absolutely crazy with the Focus skin. I love this skin so, so much. You can pick it up for only 1,200 V-Bucks, which is a really good price for this. And we finally got a second edit style of Focus added to the game a few seasons ago, which just improved this even more. I was already a huge fan of this skin. I thought it was known as a controller-only skin, and if you were a pro on controller, then this is definitely a skin that you already own. But when Fortnite introduced a second edit style, it just made it even better to the point now where it would have to be one of the most tryhard skins in the history of the game. But we haven't really talked about a noob on this list yet, so it's time to include our next Fortnite noob, and that is me. Yes, guys, Cairo. I'm including my own main skin in this video just because I wanted to. Basically, I've been maining Chani over the last few seasons, and and even though I am a big Fortnite bot, I still think it's really important to include this skin on this video. I've talked about this skin a bunch. I am also similar to Courage JD. Whenever I play Fortnite, I'm going to be using a bunch of different skins in my locker. I probably won't just use one or two different skins for a few weeks. I'll try and change them around as much as I can. But I always seem to end up going back to the Chani skin because it is one of my favorites. We don't really see too many pros or streamers using this skin either, which just makes it even better. And if you guys are interested in watching me turn from a noob to a pro Fortnite player, then make sure to let me know in the comments down below if I should start streaming again. I would absolutely love to go from a Fortnite noob to a Fortnite pro using this skin, but we may as well just move on to our next pro, and this is Halo. He's easily one of the best pros in the world, and he's been using the Surf Witch. This again is a skin that we have seen a bunch of pros and streamers using over the last few years. I feel like this is definitely considered a sweaty skin, not only in Season 4, but basically one of the sweatiest skins in the history of Fortnite. We don't see too many skins that are used by more people than the Surf Witch. I feel like maybe the superhero skins Siren and Caper, but apart from that, this would easily be one of the more popular ones. I love the way it looks. I just wish we had some more edit styles for this, but hopefully that does get added as we move into Chapter 5. Let's move on though, guys 
guys to our next Fortnite Pro and this is Day. Day has actually been using the Scarlet Commander over the last few seasons and this is probably the skin that he is most known for as well. A lot of the skins that we have already talked about, even though they are tryhard skins, usually can be quite expensive, coming in at anywhere from 1,500 V-Bucks all the way up to 2,000 V-Bucks. But what is really good about the Scarlet Commander is that this only costs 800 V-Bucks and there are like four different edit styles for this. So even if you don't like one edit style, then it's still worth buying because there are so many different styles for this. I think it is hard to go past the default style of this though. It has just been so good for such a long time and seems like it's going to be try hard again in season four. One controller player that has been more popular over the last few seasons though would have to be Face Sway. Face Sway has been changing around his main skin quite a bit. It started off as the Dark Bomber, then went to Lara Croft, and now it seems like it has actually turned to the Focus skin. He has used a bunch of different skins in Fortnite. He has also used a bunch of skins that no one else really seems to use, like the Arcane skins, which is actually a really cool way to play Fortnite and definitely makes some of these more underrated skins a lot more popular. I feel like since Season 4 started though, he has been using Focus a lot, and especially the newer edit style for this skin. It is one of my favorite styles. I absolutely love the way this looks, but we have already talked about this in this video. So let's move on to our next Fortnite Pro guys. And we have Nick A30. Yes, guys, he has been going absolutely viral over the last few seasons. So we just had to include him in this video. You guys already know what skin he has been maining, and this is the Canadian Mogul Master. Nick A30 is one of the only players in the world that still uses the Canadian Mogul Master in Fortnite. He's actually one of the only people that I still see using the mogul masters which is so insane these skins have just been in the game since the very beginning i feel like a lot of people are starting to get sick of them and since they are eight different skins i feel like that just made them even worse if Fortnite introduced these as just one skin with a bunch of different edit styles and that would have been really good to see but it just doesn't make sense to buy all eight different styles of these skins we also need to mention that nick a30 somehow doesn't have his own icon series skin he is definitely one Fortnite pro that deserves one and i wouldn't be surprised if that does come to the game during season four another creator that does have his very own icon series skin though is lachlan and as you guys guessed it this is the skin that he's been maining as well we do see lachlan changing around his skins quite a bit he is also really known for the codename elf skin which was his main skin before he got his very own icon series skin i love the way this looks though i think his icon series skin is easily one of the best in the game the reactive style just looks so so clean and the back bling and pickaxe that came with this skin as well just makes made it even better. I still run into a bunch of people using this, especially on the OCE servers. I don't know how popular it is in Europe or in America, but this would have to be one of the more popular skins that I see people using, especially from the Icon series. It probably won't get to the popularity of our next skin though, and this is being mained by Kanada. Kanada has been maining the Caper skin, and since he's one of the best players in the world, we just had to include him in this video. Kanada just won FNCS, which is an insane insane achievement. You always see him using the Axe of Champions pickaxe all the time, which is always a massive flex. I'm a huge fan of this. I think this pickaxe is so, so good. And when you pair it with a skin this well-designed, it just makes it even better. Similar to Oatly, he has actually been using a really custom style of caper. Most people do use the fully white or the fully black edit style, but Kanata looks like he's using an orange style to this, which is really unique, and he's going to make him stand out a lot. Hopefully, he continues to use this through the rest of Season 4 and eventually into chapter five because it is definitely one of my favorites. It's going to be really interesting to see if these skins become more popular than our next skin though, and this has been made by Booga. Booga has been maining the superhero skins over the last few seasons as well. I know we already mentioned Booga in this video, and he does also have his very own icon series skin, but when he's not using that or Lara Croft, he is maining the superhero skins. More often than not, you will see him rocking the fully black superhero skin. This is one of the cleanest edit styles of this skin and it is one of the sweatiest ones as well. I absolutely love this. I think it is by far one of my favorite skins in the history of the game and you guys can pick this up for 1,800 V-Bucks. We also see our next pro using these skins quite a bit but we need to move on guys and next up we have Clicks. 
Now, Clix has made a bunch of different skins in the past, but we just have to talk about the Spark Plug skin. Even though he has been using the superhero skins, the Cozy Commander, Nolan Shans, and a bunch of other skins, I feel like Spark Plug is always going to be the skin that he is known for, and definitely his main skin right now. He did also get a locker bundle finally added to the game with the Spark Plug skin. This really only helped it become even more popular, but if I'm being honest, I feel like the black ink edit style of this skin is better than the default style, which is the one that Clix has been maining in the past. I'm really interested to hear your guys' opinion on this though. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below what style of Spark Plug is the best. But there you guys go. That is my list for 27 Fortnite skins that pros main. I hope you guys did enjoy this and make sure to click on the video on your screen now.